Well, Dustin, congratulations. We spoke a lot this week about how you've never lost two back-to-back. You said you had absolutely no plans of letting that happen this weekend. How are you feeling? Feels good to get a finish. Feels good to right the ship, get back in the win column in the UFC on my 30th fight here uh, in the octagon. And to beat a young, hungry guy who was on a streak, you know, that's, it's, it just feels good. A lot of hard work went into this. Earlier you said, I think, you, I don't want to misquote you, but I'm pretty sure you said something along the lines of throw me into the fire. Why was Benoit the fire in this case? Because the top's kind of stalled up right now. Guys have fights coming up. There's nothing happening. Um, there wasn't any other big names at the top that I could fight right now at 55. And they have this guy representing France who's on a fight-fight win streak, making a lot of noise, has a big following over there in Europe. So it just made sense. Young, hungry guy, 20-something years old. I'm an 35, 30 fights in the UFC. Let me see if I still got it. And uh, indeed, I do. 30 fights in the octagon is an invaluable amount of experience. How much did you feel experience, both in and out of the octagon, really played in your favor this time? Fight week was great and smooth, especially being here in Florida where I train. But just the nerves, you know, they're, they're always there because I'm about to fight another man in front of the world, so the nerves are always there. But it, just feel at home, all these faces back here behind the scenes that nobody, nobody really gets to see. I've been with these guys since I was 21 years old, so it's kind of like I just feel like I belong here. And to get to fight for the first time in South Florida. I can't believe you've never never had the opportunity. So to get to fight in front of a semi-home crowd, like you said, just a really short flight from Louisiana, what sort of emotions were you feeling in the octagon? It felt great. It was kind of rough, like not emotion-wise, but just a little surprise. He he wasn't a very big puncher, but he's very strong. He was a big 55er. I wonder what he weighed tonight. He he felt really solid. Um, And his grappling skills were were decent. You know, I was like, shit, I'm I'm sitting here losing rounds to this, this kid. Also, he didn't, he didn't take me down. I took myself down jumping guillotines, and I'll do it again, damn it. <laughs> I was going to say, we heard the corner advice, and they said no more guillotines, and then you just immediately and did it. against the fence when I had the high elbow, Mike said, don't do it right after you just told me in the corner. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. You should have stuck your tongue out. It was, in, it was an executive decision. <laughs> well, I think it played in your favor, but walk me through the finish, if you can remember it. I think he dipped down to throw an overhand, and I caught him, uh, split his timing with an uppercut, and his legs kind of went, but then he came back up, and when he came up, he was loose, chin up and hands down, trying to hurt me, and this, we practiced it in the back. I know UFC has the footage because the camera was back there. We were practicing catch, catch, fire the hook. Catch, catch, fire the hook. Because he fought my buddy Tiago Moises, and uh, when he got Moises against the fence, he starts throwing these combinations from the hip, gunslinging, and his chin's in the air. He's a... He, He's a decent puncher and a big guy, but he throws everything into every shot with not the best technique. You know, that'll come. He's still young. He's still working. But we saw a lot of openings, and I really felt that right hook was going to be there, and, and boy, was it. Well, there's only three people ahead of you in terms of most wins in UFC history. Any weight, when you think of, I believe it's Jim Miller has three or four more wins. When you think of cementing yourself in a history book, something like that, just adding to your legacy, do the wins mean anything? Of course they do. You know, I, I th- I, one that really means a lot to me right now is I'm tied in UFC history with most fight of the nights. Kids are getting, like when I first started in the UFC, it was kind of a little bit of an older fighters. You know, there wasn't a lot of young kids, 21, 22, 23. Now the sport's grown so much that kids are doing it at an earlier age, so they're getting into the UFC earlier. So a lot of those longevity records are going to be broken. They're going to be hard to keep. But fight of the night, having the most of those, not in, not in lightweight division, in the UFC history, that's going to be a tough one to break. And uh, I'm tied right now, and I really, want to, I really want that first place. Just fight of the night or all performance bonuses fight combined? I have, a lot of, I, have some other, I have a bunch of other performance bonuses, but fight of the night. Who wants to get in there and get gritty and have the record for that? You know, It's tough to do. I think that's one that will stick longer than a lot of these other longevity records. Well, the fight didn't go the distance, I, w- I would say, and I don't really have an opinion on this that matters, but definitely fight of the night in my book. When you think of what's next for you, what comes to mind? My goal with the Good Fight Foundation, raising 50K for Food Net when I get home, auctioning off these gloves and shorts I wore to the Octagon tonight, giving back to the community, getting, and getting, getting back to my daughter and being a dad. You know, training camp's hectic. She's in school in second grade, so she can't come to South Florida with me the whole time. She, I've only seen her for two weeks in the last seven or eight weeks. So they know that hurts. I love my little girl and I promised her a date when I get home. So that's what I'm going to do. What kind of date are you taking her on? Taking her to trampoline park. Then we're going to go get ice cream. Then I'm going to take her to toy store. It's going to, 
and she wants to go in my, my Corvette. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. That's a day. Yeah. You have earned it, Dustin. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.